Hi everyone, welcome to tip three of our top 12 interactive links tips. So this one is all about creating layered images. I've found a really great image of different layers of the human body. And I did that using the content search area within Lynx Whiteboard itself. So thank you, don't need you again. Here's my image. Now what I want to do is create something that the children can really interact with. So instead of just seeing the different layers of the human body and labeling them, I want them to be able to kind of peel away the layers. Now you can layer things so you can just have one image hiding another one or hiding some text, but this is a little bit more involved uh, than that, but it is really easy to do. So first of all, I've got my image here, but I don't want all of these together as in the same, same image. So I'm going to have to split them up. So in here, I've got various crop tools. So I could crop one of the images using the rectangle crop. So now all I've got to do is start to drag this over the image, drag that over there and let go. Now, if I just miss a little bit, like I missed the hand there, I can always say, right, I want to undo that and have another go. So just activate it again and we'll try to get all of it. There we go, much better. Now, when I let go, it will give me a new image on top of the original one and I can just move that one out of the way. So we've also got the freehand crop. So this time I can really tailor the crop to go all around the image. There we go, that's the nervous system done and we can move that one out of the way as well. Just pop that over there. And we've also got the knife so that we can slice in a very similar way too. But this time you don't end up with a copy, you just have a piece that you can move out away from the original image. To do the last one, I'll just do crop freehand again because I only want these four from my diagram today. There we go. So I don't need the original image anymore. So what I'm going to do with that is just select it and go in here and delete it from the screen. So I've got my images. The only problem is I've got a white background in each of them as well. So there's a couple of ways I can get rid of that. The first one is I can just tap on the image and we have a remove background icon, which I'll just tap there and it just takes it all away. Um, I've also got down here, uh, next to the crop tools, I have a fill tool. And if I set it to the transparency color, I should be able to tap on the white there as well and just get rid of all those as quickly as that too. So that's that sorted. Now what I need to do is start to layer the images and also attach the text boxes that I already uh, created. So I think the one that I want underneath everything else is the circulatory system here. So that's going to be my bottom image. And here is the text for that. So if I just drag across both of those, I can join them together using the four arrows heading towards each other. They're now one item. I also want this to be in the background layer. This is the one layer that I don't want the children to mess with. So to do that, I just uh, come to the Arrange and Transform option here, and I just send it directly into the background layer. Now I need to leave the background layer, and you can see now that I can't mess with that at all. So on top of the circuitry system, I'm going to have the nervous system. So we'll just pop that over the top there and we'll drag the text for the nervous system. And this time I can join both of those together in the same way and we'll leave them there. Um, next will be the skeletal system. And I know I'm gonna want the text to be on this side this time. So we'll just drag those and join them together and we'll place those on top. Uh oh, it's sliding behind. So what we'll do is we'll come into the Arrange and Transform and we'll move it up so it's the uppermost thing on the page. And then we can pop it into place. Finally then, we have the muscular system. Obviously that's going to slide behind there, but let's join it first to its text box and then we can sort that out. So combine them both together 
And now arrange and transform, bring them both to the top, even over the top of the skeletal system. So we're almost finished, but what we want to do now is we want to uh, make sure that the children can actually move the images when we're in presentation mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stretch and pick up all of those three layers because of course it won't pick up the background layer of course and in the three dots here I'm going to select editable while presenting. So now when I go into presentation mode in the hamburger menu here and I start presenting what we should find is that I can pick up each layer and move them out. And in fact, I don't have to move them out. I could just tap on one of them and go to the eye image here. And this reveals the transparency slider so we can actually peer into the next layer underneath by making it transparent. Or we can drag it out as well. It's a really nice smooth system especially when you're using it on a touch screen. So that's tip three, how to make layered images.